According to the American Heart Association, heart disease continues to be the leading cause of death among women. But remarkably, a 2005 American Heart Association study showed that only 8% of primary care physicians and 17% of cardiologists knew that heart disease kills more women than men. That wasn't the case when we talked with the specialist at Florida Hospital Waterman's Heart Center, a new addition to the Hometown Health Network of Specialists. I had recently uh, given a lecture to uh, a group of uh, females, about 350 in all, um, about women's heart disease and, and how that fits into the equation of, of their health care. Um, historically, women's health is usually focused around things like breast disease and gynecologic disease and those continue to be very important challenges, certainly. And even as much as enlightened this group was, when I asked the question by raise of hands, I said, what do you think the number one killer of women is? And my first question will be, do you think it's cancer, breast cancer, gynecologic cancer? Most people tend to raise their hand. They tend to get that question wrong. When I ask about heart disease, it tends to be relatively small. When I ask the same question to 350 women about male death, they get the answer right almost all the time. So a lot of it is about education and about awareness. Female heart health is really very similar to male heart health and they tend to be the not so terribly exciting but very important maintenance things, things that we're all pretty familiar with, diet, exercise, cholesterol management, stop smoking if you smoke, um, understanding something that we call what your numbers are. And one of the challenges we have for all of our patients is something I call intellectual honesty. Uh, people don't want to know what their blood sugars are. They don't want to know what an ideal body weight is or um, blood pressure. So I think once we get to that point where we're committed to our own care, male or female, and we understand what all the numbers are, then we can start to understand what the risk factors are. Women in cardiac disease has really been a very interesting history. Historically, we've always thought of cardiac disease as a primarily male-dominated disease. But as we come to understand the differences between male and female heart problems, and also have a better popular understanding of what the data resources are, we've come to realize that actually cardiac disease is the number one killer of women in the United States. And if you take the next three leading causes of death for women, things like cancer, including breast cancer, accidents, infections, and so forth, cardiac disease still accounts for more death than those next three combined. What's been challenging historically is popular education as well as professional education in understanding that females don't tend to present with cardiac disease the same way that males do. In other words, we're all familiar with what we hear of crushing chest pain or sharp chest pain in males as representing cardiac disease. Less than half of women represent those type of symptoms. So they tend to present later in their course and they tend to present with more complex disease. We've included numerous web resources to help you better understand heart disease, what causes it, how to prevent it, and its warning signs. You'll find that information along with the Waterman Heart Center profile page when you visit us on our newly designed homepage at yourhometownhealth.com.